Welcome back. We can finally go look around the high limit floor. Right, Shoop. We go. All right, so they said something about checking out the numbers or something. So let's check at this thing. The counter. Oh, they said check the counter. And I was thinking it was a counter as in numbers. Not a counter as in a counter. First off, we would like to extend a welcome gift to you. Awesome, they're giving us coins this time too. Just 1,000 though. At least give each person that much cheapskate. I'm sorry, but the welcome gift can only be applied once per card. Furthermore, this is the map for the higher limit floor. Okay. Okay. Show us your prizes now. We want to exchange our coins for a member's card. <laughs> we do have prizes, but that is unfortunately not one of them. How do you mean? What? And how are we supposed to get to the manager's floor? I assure you there is no need for a card. Please head over there. This sounds suspicious. Well, we cannot proceed unless we check it out. Why don't we head over there for the time being? There's other doors to check out though, why can't we just... Alright. We'll have a look. Hello? Huh. Casino Victor. We'll have that. Alright, chill it, get you. Yeah, 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 time to change it up. Right. Be having that as well. I like the sort of like fence here with the cards that are turning. That's cool. What's this? Ah, the scales of justice. Hmm, a scale or is it a bridge? Maybe it's a scale shaped bridge? There's an area over on the other side too. That could lead to the manager's floor. Hmm, there can be no doubt. We will need to lower the bridge to cross. But how do we do that? Hmm, how indeed. Let us try investigating around here. Right. Yeah, I was going to investigate the machine. Authenticating member's card. 1,000 coins, alright. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 1,000 coins. It's 100,000, brain. What? We need 100,000 coins just to cross over there? It's getting clearer that she has no intention of letting us proceed onward. I don't believe there is any need for pessimism, though. What? But think about how much that is. We were desperate just to get our hands on 50k. But we still obtained them in the end. We can succeed if we do that again, then double our total. I suppose this is a high limit floor. Indeed, there must be a high risk. High return game? Somewhere here. They will need to win, too. Our first order of business should be to see what kind of games exist on this floor. Alright, let's go have a look then. Right, let's check out the counter again. This is the high limit floor. Assume anything we do will require these coins. Why don't we check around before we exchange? Okay, then. Alright, what we got? Are these the rules? Um, the House of Darkness. Let's see what it says. In this game, you will attempt to escape a pitch black maze. You are free to quit at any point and start over. The game ends when you reach the finish. Huh? Wait, that's it? Don't tell a shit set for this maze and it's dark. I suppose we will have to go in and find out for ourselves what it is all about. Let's do it. Welcome to the House of Darkness, our puzzling labyrinth in the dark. What was that? Better not be looking for a fight, we ain't interested. <laughs> that won't be necessary. You are valuable participants after all. Safe room over there. Participants? Most certainly. The original intent behind the high limit floor is different from that of others. On this floor, VIPs are encouraged to send substitutes to compete in the games in their place. Consider it to be like the horses in horse racing. However, it seems you have no substitutes. Of course we don't. That should be obvious. Indeed it is. Hence you will be the vital participants in these games. 
so we basically need to be our own substitutes. Eh, sounds perfect to me. That way, that way's better than spectating. Splendid! Now allow me to explain the rules. Straightforward maze lies directly ahead of you. I suggest you exercise utmost caution within, as the lighting is dimmed quite heavily. Your entry fee into this maze will be 1,000 coins. But if you can manage to reach the goal, well, you will obtain 10 times that amount. 10,000 coins? Just for completing a maze? It is no wonder they call this the high limit floor. I doubt the maze will be as simple as it sounds. Let's start. One more thing. You are free to head backward in the maze or even leave the room if you so choose. Well then, please enjoy. Okay. Yeah, there is, there is, there is. We know, we know. It's a safe, it's a safe room, it's fine. Right, all I need to do is enter it in case we die. I doubt we will, though. Hello! You are registered for the maze. Please proceed onwards. Mm. Alright. God damn, it's so freaking dark. This is definitely not a little. We've been tricked. I'm sensing shadows too. Very simple, my arse. If we do not ascertain the layout and placement of the enemies, we'll surely find ourselves in danger. I can run at them, they'll be green. I just hope there is an adequate way of doing so. I can see it. It's that sort of thing like... Doesn't that make everything more obvious? Yes, it does. To get a bit slower. Right, run out yet. Show me your true form. My question is, is there any secret rooms I can easily miss in here? I imagine so. At least there won't be, um... Will seed rooms. Ugh. There's people just in the dark. Okay, there's that. Is that a door? That's a door. Locked door. No, wait, it's not opening. Impossible. We took the only path available straight to this point. No, we didn't. So the participants are trapped in here to fall victim to the shadows. Seems they have no intention of letting us proceed further. Damn it, this is cheating. Actually, it's even worse than cheating. Regardless, let's search for a way past here. We can't get the coins if we don't reach the goal. Hey, look. Yo, look, there's a breeze coming through here. You think it goes somewhere? Hmm, how convenient. If they're not going to let us move forward, we can force our way through here. <laughs> An unsurprising idea for Sai Sen's sister. I will go along with whatever plan we choose. The decision is yours, Joker. Okay. There's another vent there. I was trying to run at it, but it's like, oh, too late. Look at these things! Ow, so much damage, it hurts! Oh, please stop! Oh no! Um, let's just try out a Mega Day in Jadolin. Oh my. Azure Trees win again. All according to plan. All according to Kick for Two. 69. Nice. Alright. I can still fight. I can see Let us go. Okay, so there's loads of options around. Ooh, that's the thing. There is just loads of options around. What's down there? What's this about? Why is there a door? Okay. Treasure! Okay. Reminds me of that time I got lost in a mirror maze. I'll reveal your true form. And again, it's just that case of like my mother and my auntie were like waving me and my cousin being like, Come down here! Come down here! It's this way! 
But from our point of view, they were saying that in every direction. So... Not exactly helpful, really, is it? It's like, it's like they were, like, mocking us, being like, how could you not know which way to go? It's like... We're in a freaking mirror maze! It's somewhere. That's how it works! What do you mean, what? You, ooh. This is the way out? Or a way out? Uh, smash it, just kick it in. Just kick it in. Hmm. Focus. Anyone else out there been in the middle maze though? And did you find it fun? So that's all the thing, the idea is fun and then it's just annoying. Okay, ooh, we made it through. Is that it though? Feels like there's more up ahead. Yeah, like where are we? What is this? Because this could just be a chest room. Get it open. All right, catch it, chill, mate. Like it's not this biggest thing ever. Like chill. Oh my, my heart is overcome with such glorious spectacles as I found inside this chest. Like, mate. Chill. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Alright, so, where have we ended up? I'm hoping there's a light switch somewhere. Alright, so we've got a safe room. This space. Cool area. So that could be it. But I'm hoping, yeah, we can get a light switch and go back and just open up the areas with. Missed. So I'm, I'm imagining that there's chests all over the place that I just didn't get. Oh my! Anyway, it's like Joker's like, back off, mate. Inconceivable. How have you managed to make it this far? You truly are pests. Every time you think you crush them, they just come crawling back in. What was that? You bastard. I hope you're ready. We didn't appreciate that trap of yours. He's right, you didn't have any intention of letting us get past that maze in the first place. Ah, you're indeed correct. This is how things are supposed to be. You're not worthy of victory. Now, won't you just lie down and lose for me? This isn't an easy job, you know. We're not giving up. Oh, is that so? Well then, it seems I have no other choice. I'll go with four turns. Four turns to kill the mermaid. Dim, dim, bidim, bidim, bidim. I got one shot kill. Mm, that's a no go. Boofadine. No, I don't think it's going to be. Right, right. Mm, could, could, could be done on this. Nope. That's fine. Okay, diamond dust. Frozen. So I was kind of off on how many turns it would take. Close though. 69. Nice. That must have been his plan from the very beginning. Considering how things were on the members' floor, it's no surprise this isn't a fair game either. And yet we still reached our goal. Come now, let us go. We have no more business here. Hmm. We'll have to go to another game if we want to win more coins. Joker, should we go back to the elevator? Explore some more. Is there a, is there a light switch? Like this nothing in the way of switches. It's that case of like, but there may be stuff out there. I can see it now. <laughs> yes, this is what I wanted. It's like, well, I can't see where I'm going. It's like I can see the map at least. That's the important bit. Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at the map now. I'll reveal your true form. 
So I need to get in the, in the tunnel thingy doodah, the vent. Just, just... I need to do both bits just to open that up. Oh, oh. I suppose. Let's look at the map. There's a way down there. Let's go open up that door, though. For no reason other than just, I want the door open. It really is just uncovering the map. No, nothing else special, just uncovering the map. Well, I can hear a chest. Ooh, a Ouija board. A Luigi board. It's a Luigi board. Right, so that should be that area sorted, yes. So... Let's head back to the closest safe room, which is through here. Make sure we get you 69! Nice. Isn't this pretty much the entrance, though? Like, so I was going to use this, the safe room to get back to the entrance, but it's like, well, it's just outside here. May as well. Oh, he's not there anymore. I was hoping I could speak to him being like, ha ha, screw you, mate. Screw you. Right, what's on the other side? This is oh, these are the rules for what they call the Butle Arena. Hmm, I shall read them. This is a series of one-on-one -on -one fair fights in which your skills are all you can rely on. Well, there you have it. <laughs> so... It it's like the whole challenging, ch challenger approaching thing in Super Smash Bros. Are you allowed to say that? You fight whoever shows up. I suppose a criminal trial is like a battle of sorts. This may be a bit more refreshing though. Hmm, I'm curious as to what's waiting for us inside here. Let's check it out when you're ready. Are you allowed to say that? Like, that's, that's, a, that's another game. Are you, are you allowed? I don't know. Welcome to the Battle Arena. The infernal fighting ground where the embers of life glow bright. Oh, it's you guys. Our manager told us about you. The hell have you been hearing about us? My, you're so quick to anger. Wonderful. This could be quite boring if that wasn't the case. Now, allow me to confirm something before I begin. You currently have 10,000 coins? Yes! We do! Oh, you have surely been busy. Very well, then allow me to explain this game to you. Here, yeah, you will prove your supremacy in a trio of fierce one on one battles. Then again, this is the pinnacle of our casino, the high limit floor. Normally, our VIPs would prepare substitutes who fight to the death with their sinks. The attending guests then bet coins on whom they think will win. Here too? What do you bet? What lose? Huh. This shit makes me sick. The entirety of this floor must be like that. Taking little risk for a high return is truly the optimal business strategy. But can we even participate if we don't have a substitute? We didn't need one for the other game. The same probably applies in here too. As irritating as it may be, that is correct. Please participate. Registration will take place at the counter over there. Oh, we got ourselves another staff room. This place looks soft. Getting a bit on edge. Go, 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 go on. Let us depart. It's fine. Ah, uh, welcome. Will you be participating in our stunning battle arena? Of course! Our teamwork's gonna take down this arena of yours. But it was one-on-one, -on -one. yeah. Ah, now that won't do. This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles. Don't tell me. Of 
correct. Only one of you can participate. You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. The entry fee for this event is 10,000 coins. However, if you manage to succeed in your trials, you will be granted 10 times that. 100,000 coins. Wait, what? That's enough to get us across that bridge. Come on, we need to do this. Hmm, this feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would certainly ensure great danger. But failure to infiltrate this palace will be the end of us. So we don't got a choice. Very well. In that case, Joker should be the one to participate. We don't know what kind of enemies may appear, so his high level of adaptability will be vital here. Leave it to me. Yes. Are you sure about this? You will have to fight alone. But that's why Joker's the one doing it, right? I mean, I understand why. Just be careful, okay? Don't do anything reckless in there. Has your mind been made up? The battles will begin once you enter. Now then, shall you challenge the imposing battle arena? Let's do it. Oh, in that case, please head onward into the ring. The entry fee and appropriate prize total shall be calculated at the end of the game, everyone. Now then, prepare to know the true meaning of agony. <laughs> Only you will be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering on f you on from the stands, so best of luck. Best of luck indeed. You will not be able to retreat once you enter this room. Is that alright with you? Ah, no, no. Go on. Are they waiting outside? Do 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 Oh, hello. How dare, sir? How dare? Odds are 1.1 to the house, 23.0 to the Phantom Thieves! Wow! The Phantom Thieves are surprisingly popular! It's rare to see odds in the double digits! Now, let us begin our serious one-on-one -on -one battle! Hurry up the first contestant! Oh, uh, what the hell? There's two of them! Ah, that's easy. This isn't one-on-one -on -one at all. They're just ignoring the rules right from the beginning. Well, yeah, the entire place has been rigged. We knew this. Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin. Ready, set, go! Should be easy enough, should be easy enough. All right, so, Mega Danger Dolan. Oh. Hit me on the noggin. Oh, I thought that would be enough to take them out. Like, take one out and then be like, you know. Fine, we go with another mega, mega danger donut. Fine. Ding, 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 ding. Question is, does Victory Cry work here? You know, that's a little hard to say. I'm just going to call him the Phantom Dweeb from now on. All of you betting on the house, do not fret. The second round of contestants is arriving now. What? There are even more than before. How cowardly. There's nothing fair or honest about this. Quiet down in the peanut gallery. Now it's time to die in this blood-curdling battle! Uh-huh. Should be easy enough again. Persona. Mega Danger Dome. Oh, that one, that one was definitely easier. Just boom, done. <laughs> uh, there's no way in hell you're getting away with this! Time for our final contestant! What 
in the... Yowza! That's a big one. Go! Grind his bones to dust! Let the extreme third battle begin! So... Some random guy with a hammer. How strange. Thunder Emperor. Should be easy enough, should be easy enough. Diamond Dust. Boom. <laughs> Once again, justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. Congratulations! Here's your reward, 100,000 coins. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! You were incredible! They never even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. I could have carried on. Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? Well, what else were we gonna do? I'm, I'm with a catchy on this one. I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. Come now, we should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Indubitably. It's, uh, it's that sort of thing like, what awaits us? What awaits us? What's up here? What's up here? I missed the machine! Nick down. Authenticating members card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that! Now let us through! It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. Not really. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. That should be hard. What? It'd take a while, but it wouldn't be hard. What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Hence, I will emerge victorious. We had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. Bare? I won't. I would say barely. She said she would let us through if we had one million coins. Yes. In that case, there won't be a problem. <laughs> you know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... For example, had we borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. He has the second card. He didn't throw it in the bin. Correct. On Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have another card? Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together. Yeah, which means we don't have enough, so what else has he um, been doing? <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second time. 
After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1,010,000 coins. We can surely cross the bridge now. Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be. Crow, it's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves' efforts. Now, we should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. Yeah, it's like, get on it. Quick. Oh, yes, put it in, put it in. Do you wish to activate the bridge judgment? Activate the bridge. Hell yeah, we're almost there. We had better be ready for whatever lies ahead. What lies ahead, there's only one way to find out. Anything special here? Nope. There's the treasure room. Can I go around? Nope. It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. Our infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. And once the calling card is sent, Sai San's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? Big casino chip. That depends on the person. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kanashiro's was fake money. Hmm. Maybe like a police badge or something relating to her father? Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. It could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. Bum 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 bum. All the dots. Hmm? What's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, it actually looks like there's a shape formed in the haziness. If I had to guess, I'd say Sis's treasure is a police notebook. Oh yeah, I was wondering. I thought that was something behind it. Alright, your father was... She probably thinks Dad died because the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is meaningless, and that there's no point living a subservient life. Dad's death is even the reason she aspired to become a prosecutor and grew so obsessed with winning. She really loved him. Sai-san's heart must be exhausted from living in such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. That is exactly why we need to change her heart. Yes, that it is. And now we've ascertained the location of the treasure for that goal. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? I still want to explore this room a bit. Is there something else in here that's caught your attention? Okay, let's look around a little more before we head back. Like, you never know, there might be something in here. Something interesting. Right up here, it's like there's a door here. Alright, let's let's head on back then. But we can't do nothing. Very interesting palace this has been though. That's the way I describe it. It's like probably probably the bottom 
in terms of palaces for me, but like, not, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just, it's the worst one. Just Shall not necessarily bad. Shall we take a break? Um, I do need to check the coins. All right. Where, where's the cow? Where, where's the cow? There you are. Hmm, victory beam. Let's get all of them. You never know. You never know. Right. So let's head head on head 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 head, head on back now. Do 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 do. Right. So uh, do, 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 do. casino entrance. Let's go. What do you want to do? Should have maybe done the velvet room, but nah. I don't exactly need to level up, do I? Sorted. Yes. Finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. I see. So this is how you go about arranging your operations. <laughs> Feels as though I now have a much better understanding of why you have been so successful. Evening. Okay. You did great today. You tired? We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. We still don't know anything about the true corporate behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Najima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was. We wouldn't have to fight in Jima-san's shadow. Who could it be? You think it's someone we know? Nah, nah, not at all. But that's a possibility. True. But there would be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Ren. Well, I'm not ready, because we're going to end this part. Ta-da for now.